Hi beautiful people, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Rosemary, and in this video I'll be showing you how I did this beautiful yarn or wool twist. As always, I will be showing two methods. I will be using two and a half wools. Please make sure to buy them at the same time to avoid my mistake of buying two different shades of brown. And also they have different thickness. One is return double knit, uh, which is the thickest, and one is return four ply, which is thin. You can use a hair gel or hair pudding or edge control, which do not flake. I will also use combs and a scissor, brush and small rubber bands. Let me quickly show you the wool difference in terms of color and thickness. Okay, so I like the dark brown and thick one and you will see why. After picking the length and thickness of the yarn twist, you will keep one strand and wool to measure the rest. So also note that the twist at the back and sides will be shorter, so I will measure accordingly. For example, at the back, I cut slightly short wool or yarn and longer ones at the front. So now I'm using the thicker wool, so I will create 11 strands, which will make one yarn twist. So if you buy the thin wool, you will count 17 strands. Now you see why I like the thicker one. Yep. And then I will make sure that the last strand is longer than the rest for tying after twisting. I will then cut the loops I created to, to make it easier to separate while braiding. While we are busy watching, please do give me a thumbs up comment, subscribe, and if you can, please share with your other sisters who might want to see or try this DIY. So I already sectioned my hair to shorten the video. I will then ensure that my hair is well moisturized and apply the edge control to lay all the hair down and create a cleaner look than brush. So I like applying hair oil or any other moisturizer on the hair tips because it won't be easy to moisturize the hair entirely after braiding. Also, please note that the, the lines at the back are not as straight as the ones in the front, simply because the hair is painful and obviously I can't see. So if you want straight lines at the back, you'll have to use two mirrors. And of course, if your hair is not too painful, So to start braiding, I'm going to hold the wool or yarn in the middle and then hold my natural hair with one hand. Then use the other hand to rotate or wind the wool around my natural hair just once to avoid a big knot. Because my hair at the front is not thick or has less volume, I will take some wool from one strand and boost the natural hair. And start braiding. So if you didn't hold the natural hair tightly, you can do so by sliding the wool towards the scalp, not too tight, but just to make sure that the hairstyle looks neat and will last. I will just braid once, then combine the two thin strands and start twisting. If you can't twist, don't worry, just follow what I'm doing, okay? Just make sure that the twist in the beginning is a bit strong or a bit stronger. So if you have thick hair, you will braid right away without mixing the wool and natural hair. Instead, you would have separated the natural hair into two, then combined it with the two wool strands, then start twisting as what I'm doing now. So while busy twisting, I will have to always make sure that the natural hair is not uh, showing outside of the twist. And then when I'm done twisting, I will take that long wool and tie, tie it tightly so. The second method is the rubber band method. You will dip the small rubber bands inside oil so that it's easy to attach and remove or they will be slippery. I will section the hair into two, then place the wool in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
I will then combine the natural hair and then attach the rubber band, then push the rubber band down to create a cleaner look as we did on the other first method. And then start twisting and making sure to hide the natural hair as always. So to push the rubber band, you will separate the natural hair into two and then slide it down and then just take the two separated natural hair and combine it with the wools and then start twisting in the same way as we did on the first method. So you just have to make sure that the beginning is very strong so that it doesn't become loose and obviously we'll have a twist that will last longer. And again the same thing, take the longer wool and then tie the end of the twist to make sure that it doesn't unravel. So here I already cut the ends to create a bob. I will use those small rubber bands to secure the ends so that they do not unravel or decorate with the metal pieces which can also secure. The important thing here is to cut the twist to be at almost the same level. And if it's too long, I will reduce it and tie it, then cut and decorate. So I used one pack of those metal pieces and left few braids without decorations. So I used a rubber band instead to secure. So now I'll be sharing a few hairstyles that I'll be rocking and we'll share most of them next week. And please do not forget to moisturize the scalp regularly to avoid itching and dandruff, okay? Thank you so much for watching and supporting me if you enjoyed watching the video please give me a thumbs up please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time when i upload a new video see you in the next video bye